So we've done one leg, and like I say, you can mirror that across uh, for the other leg. Tidy it up a little bit, hide the attributes and objects that you don't really need or want people to be playing around with. So we can do something similar with the arm. We can use the existing joints, duplicate these and turn them into uh, a rig which works on top of the arm. So an animator, for example, won't come in. These rotations are fine, but they'll probably just rotate from the shoulder and not even realize that there's this extra control in here. So we want to simplify this arm so that the animator only just needs to um, worry about the shoulder. They don't have to go in and edit these extra joints again because that's just going to take longer to do. So let's just create a duplicate of the arm. Move that up so we can see what we're doing and we're going to go unparent because we don't want that parented and sitting underneath the main joint hierarchy. Now we're going to simplify this. I'm just going to delete these. Uh, and just as a little tip, if you want to change the colour of the joints, um, we can just go to display, wireframe colour, and we can give it a different colour like so. Close, just so we can uh, differentiate it from the main arm. So we no longer want these joints in here. So we can go to skeleton, remove joint, and that's just going to strip out those joints we added in. So now we just want this arm here to control this arm here. And to do that, we're going to use the node editor. I'm just going to move this out. Actually, before I do, let's just do some renaming just so we know what's what. Left control shoulder. Left control elbow. Left control wrist, just so we can differentiate that from the main skeleton. Let's move this over here. Now, to connect this to this, we're just going to use the node editor. So go to Window, Node Editor. We'll just bring this down. And this uh, editor's only been in Maya for the past few revisions. Um, it's quite a nice little tool for quickly editing nodes, um, obviously. So let's select our shoulder joint on our control shoulder and our shoulder joint on the bound skeleton. And then we're just going to click this input and output connections and that's going to bring those in. Let's just uh, make this a little bit bigger if we can. So we want the left shoulder there, which you may not be able to see. Left shoulder twist. We want our left control shoulder. And we've got our left control elbow down here. I'll just zoom in a little bit. So I could probably make that a little bit bigger for now. Now, these are each node. What we want to do is just open these up so that we can see the attributes. So if you see, we have these little blue um, boxes just up here. They open these up at different stages. So we know we want to connect the left shoulder's rotation attributes. So let's just open those up. So actually, let's just move these so we don't get confused. We're connecting the left control, the left, the left control shoulder to the left shoulder. The left control elbow will go on to the left elbow, which isn't in this yet. But I'm just going to concentrate on the left control shoulder. So let's click that twice to open up those rotation attributes here. We have our left normal shoulder here and our left shoulder twist. Again, let's open up those rotations. So we want our left control shoulder to edit, to be directly connected to the uh, bound shoulder. So in here, all we need to do is we don't want the X because we want the rotation X on here to rotate the X attribute on here. So let's connect the Y and all we do is click and drag and you can see here, move it over to the Y. And that's done. So the same with the Z. Now for the X, we want to skip the left shoulder and we want to pipe that in to the left, con left shoulder twist. So they're all connected up. I just minimize this. Now if we look at the shoulder, 
Remember, this is what we're going to be controlling the rig with. We do not want to touch this skeleton. Rotate Y, that's working fine. Rotate Z, that's working fine. Rotate X. And if you notice, that is twisting from here. Now, the animator will never see this skeleton. This will be hidden, locked away. All they'll see are these three joints. But what's, ha what's working underneath are these connections which are editing the twist down here. And we can continue this on. Let's just bring that up. So now we can move down to the elbow, graph those connections. So we want our control elbow to control our main elbow. So let's just move some of these around, zoom in. And obviously, if you want full rotation control, you don't need to open these up. We could just select the rotate and pipe it directly into the rotate there. So we could do that here, although your elbow does only rotate around one axis. So it just depends what sort of rig you want. So that's the elbow done. So now we want to do the same with the wrist. So select both wrists, let's graph those up. So we have our left control wrist, just like that. We have our main wrist twist joint and we have our main wrist. So just like we did with the uh, shoulder, let's just open these up, open the rotations. Click that twice, open the rotations. Let's just move that up. So we know that we want the Y and the Z to directly control the main wrist. So let's just pipe those across. So the control wrist Y into the main wrist Y, control wrist Z into the main wrist Z. But again, we want this wrist here to twist this uh, wrist twist no, uh, joint here. And we know that's around the X axis, so we drag that across to the wrist twist. Let's just minimize that. So now we can tell what this joint is affecting because it turns purple. So we have that connected there, this connected here, and X rotates the wrist twist there rather than the, uh, the hand here. So that is the, uh, is the arm just basically rigged. You can obviously add IK on top of that, just create an IK handle going from the shoulder to the uh, wrist Create a locator. If you use a rotation uh, pivot solver, um, you will be able to pose the elbow, just like we did with the knee. But one final step, we just need to make sure that this arm, if we move the waist around, it's not very going to work very well if this uh, arm is just floating around here. So all we're going to do is we're going to select the main skeleton shoulder, select this arm, and we're going to use another constraint, and we're just going to use a point constraint. If we open up the options, we just reset these. We want to constrain everything because we want this to just be locked to that shoulder. We don't want to maintain the offset because we actually want this to physically move to the shoulder. Click Add, and that has moved that arm down to there. So let's just select the main skeleton and hide that so that we're just left with our main controls. So, um, actually, let's just demonstrate this moving first. As you can see, we're moving her waist up and down and around. The leg is working nicely and the control arm is following where the rig is going. So if we hide this, now we can go in and we can rotate the arm. The animator only has these three joints to play with. As we can see, that's twisting nicely around there. Rotate the elbow, go down to the wrist, twist the wrist, and that's working well there as well. And again, you can copy this across to the other side. You can add IK in. And then you can use the, uh, if we go to animation, animate, IKFK keys, and this will allow you to switch between using inverse kinematics and forward kinematics.
but that's uh, that can be shown in a different uh, tutorial.